everyone and welcome back to Granny's Unique Meal. Today is a non-cooking meal. I have here raw ramen noodles. These were meant to be eaten raw, okay? I have spicy rice cake flavor, grilled chicken flavor, and lastly, the famous um, Korean bulgogi flavor, Korean beef, barbecue beef flavor. I will try to eat all of you. Well, I'm not going to eat all of them, but I will taste these for you. And for my drink, I have something very unique. Okay, am I the first one? <laughs> Snickers iced coffee, yes. And I've never tried any of these, so I will let you know what they are like, okay? So the first flavor that I'd like to try is the Purgogi. And this is 410 calories. Very loud ASMR sound, okay? That's poor boogie right there. And the sauce packet right here. These are called bushel bushel, means you have to like uh, break it up in here and mix it in here. So maybe I should. Wait, let me do my thumbnail first. Push up, push up means you have to break it up. You know, bash it, bash it. How are you all doing today? Okay, let me do my thumbnail first and then I will put these back into their little packs. And... I hope I don't get mixed up. Okay, this is the second one. Snickers, Snickers coffee. Okay, so let me try this first one. The ramen noodles, they're, you know, they're basically the same. It's the soup base that'll change everything. Pusho, pusho, the flavor packet. Let me pray first. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all, all those that are here today, Father God. Whatever they're going through, whatever their needs are in life, Father, we know that you are a provider. We know that you see everything that goes around in our lives, both the good and the bad. Please be there for us in all our struggles and in all our uh, times of happiness as well. We thank you for everything that you do for us. Bless this food, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So let me take my first. This is a plain, plain noodle bite. So what you have to do is push up, push up. Break this up. Okay, break it up. And I'm pretty sure if I cook this up, it'll taste as good. So if I don't like this, I may just cook it up and eat it behind the scenes, you know. So I have my powder in here. And then you shake it up.
this is the the it's a noodle snack it's not a noodle soup noodle soup it's bulgogi flavor okay mm. it does taste like korean the beef bulgogi beef But I think it'll taste better if I cooked it as a ramen soup. Mm. Now, excuse my hair. Now, let me try the Snickers iced coffee. It smells like Snickers. I can taste the coffee, I can taste the Snickers. Wow, that's unique. It's not the best tasting coffee, but it's if you love Snickers and you love coffee, you may want to try this. Mm, pretty good. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so let me try this. So let me try the second flavor, the grilled chicken flavor, yang yum chicken. I'm just going to sprinkle it on the noodles. I like to take uh, just bites from the whole noodle. definitely different than the beef and because it's free powder it went through my nostrils This is pretty good. You know how we drink flavored uh, lattes and you know all those flavored coffees? The caramel macchiatos, they're all good. This is kind of different, but I would not, if I were to go to a coffee shop, I would not buy this flavor. It's okay, but I would rather eat my Snickers and drink my coffee separately. Okay, the final flavor, the spicy. I saved this for last. It's the spicy rice cake flavor. I think after I try this, I'm going to um, cook this up and see if it tastes better as ramen soup. It might even taste better cooked, I think. How red this is. I'll just do it this way. Because I don't want to crumble it up too much. That way, um, if I cook the noodles, it's not going to be very good.
definitely does have that rice cake, spicy rice cake seasoning. Okay. I'm going to cook these noodles, okay? Maybe I should add all the seasonings together. These snacks are, they're just like regular ramen noodles. So that means you could eat your other ramen noodles raw too, okay? It's the same thing. Okay, let me cook it up. Hold on. Okay, so I have my water boiling. And I'm going to make the spicy rice noodle, okay? The rice cake flavor noodle. I think I'll just mix everything. And here's the chicken flavor. Seasoning. I don't want to do too much, too much noodles because three packs of ramen is way too much for me. And let me add in the purple flavor. Lately, I've been doing a lot of fixing up my meal videos because it doesn't turn out, the original doesn't turn out as good as I want it, so I have to fix it up a bit. And I'm gonna put in all of the rice cake seasoning. Looks pretty good. We'll see. Now I'm gonna put the rest of the chicken packet, seasoning packet. These packets are smaller than the normal uh, ramen packets that we get. And I think it's because we have to eat the ramen raw and we don't want too much sodium. And I can taste that this has a lot of MSG. <laughs> so ramen noodles are not something you wanna eat too much of, okay? So it's looking pretty good. Let me see if it's too salty. Oh no. Because of the purgogi, the beef, it's sweet. Oh, that and also the sweet spicy rice cakes. They're pretty sweet too. So. It's sweet ramen. Mm. I didn't put a lot of water in it because I don't want it too watery. A while ago I had um, cheese ramen and I put a lot of water, it was very bad. So I think I'll just have this as dry noodles, okay? And I don't know if it's just my imagination, but I think the ramen noodles are thinner than the soupy ramen noodles that we're used to. Slightly different, but the taste is basically the same thing. 
Let me see if it's all done. So I don't even know what to expect when I record videos. Anything can happen. I wasn't planning on cooking this ramen noodle, but here we are. Very sweet. Fairly, pretty good. Are you hanging in there? It's quite a long video. There's no other way around it. Well, I may chop up a lot of segments here so that I don't have a very long video. You know, this is all done. I brought mozzarella cheese. Cheese is good on anything, I'm telling you. On desserts, on main courses, main meals. I'm a very big cheese fan, okay? I don't eat it too much because it's not too healthy. But I eat what I like, okay? I don't starve myself. I don't restrict myself on foods that I enjoy eating. I just eat in moderation. So this isn't as red as I thought it would be. It's hardly, it's not even red at all. It doesn't look spicy. And it's not supposed to be. Okay, first cheesy bite. Yours. Thanks for sticking around. Mm. Sweet and cheesy. Oh, the cheese. One thing bad about cheesy foods is that I get nauseated easily. So once I hit that nausea level, I'm going to have to stop. It's pretty good. Mm. Not a good combination. I had to cool down my mouth. Look at the cheesy strings.
This is not one of my favorite ramen soups, okay? Taste is okay. I would rather eat Samyang fire noodles. But I always try any ramen flavor at least once. I don't think I'll get this again. Your last bite. <laughs> okay. In conclusion. The ramens, I think they're better as snacks, just raw. They're okay. My favorite raw, raw or cooked ramen is the Japanese Sapporo Ichiban ramen noodles. They're the best plain, um, uncooked, and they're also great um, cooked. So, will I get these again? Probably not. So, don't spend a lot of money on Amazon getting these. I got these at the dollar store, okay? And this iced coffee, Snickers iced coffee, I give this a... a if you want to try it, try it, but I don't think I'll get this again either. They're okay, but I would rather eat my Snickers. So for my dessert, I'll have one Snickers. Who doesn't love chocolate? Peanut caramel nougat. Very good. All right, thank you for sticking around. May God bless you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Until next time, be safe and do the right thing. May God bless you. Peace out. Thank you.